Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Okami. Here we are, at the very end. We're gonna do a quick save right before we go into the arc, but we're pretty much ready. We are missing one enemy that we haven't killed that's a general enemy, but it appears in the arc, so that's not a big deal, actually. Yeah. Oh god, no, we've already listened to this a million times, but just in case you forgot. You can pause it during any of his dialogue. Okay. Here we go. Into the Ark. Well, wait, Ami. You know what'll happen if you cross this rainbow bridge and board the Ark of Yamato, don't you? I mean, that boat is bad news. People of Kamui all know that. It's the most hated and feared thing in all the land. Even the legends have nothing good to say about it or Loochi Lake. And you know there's no turning back once you board that thing. Huh? You look like you want to say something? Resolve? You mean you've got the resolve to pass the point of no return? Yep, we do. I see. Well, I guess this is it then. Ami, don't you go dying like you did a hundred years ago. And that's why I make a save before the point of no return. In case I miss anything so I can just go right back to it. But yes, the Ark of Yamato is the point of no return in the game. You cannot come back from it. Well, wait a sec, Ami. He's afraid. Um, well, we've been through a lot together. How long's it been since we first met? It all started in the Valley of Sakuya's chest. When we laid the smack down on Orochi and that fox wench. We even went inside an emperor's body and traveled to the bottom of the sea. Then, before I knew it, I find myself back in my own land. And now it all ends with the appearance of the legendary Ark. But for you, it's just the start of an even greater adventure. Sorry, Ami. I'm afraid this is where we say goodbye. As I told you from the beginning, I joined you so that I could steal those 13 brush techniques of yours. We found them all during our travels. And now, each and every one has been etched into my mind. It's not like I've mastered them yet, but I plan on having loads of fun with my newfound skills. It's a bit sad to see you go, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Take care of yourself, pal. No, Ami, no. Look, you're a god. I'm a sprite. We live in completely different worlds. The road ahead may be a tough one, but it's one you're just gonna have to walk alone. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just, I got things I need to do, you know? Now let's wrap this up. I can't stand long goodbyes. Farewell, my furry friend. Hold it right there, furball! How many times do I have to tell you? We gotta go our separate ways. Now leave me alone, you thick-headed lump of fur. He's right, Mushri. Your way lies with this arc. You again. At last. At last, a path to the heavens has opened up. Oh, fantastic. How long have I yearned for this moment? Two hundred years? No, it must have been much longer. Bah, what are you babbling on about now, you big fruitcake? A path to the heavens? On that creepy old hunk of junk? What a fitting exit for a half-baked prophet like you. I have no idea what you're up to. And frankly, I don't care. I'm not a part of this anymore. So I'm gonna split. Have fun, you two. Afraid of the legendary arc, are we? What did you say? 
Well, if you must go, then go. Besides, only those worthy of the trip to the heavens may board. The fabled Ark of Yamato. You never had a ticket, and you never will. Why, you witless two-bit half-baked prophet! You're just trying to trick me into getting on that stupid boat. I'm not gonna fall for something like that. I'm no fool. So there. Wait a sec, I know. Maybe I should just hop on board your little boat. Yeah, and then I should tear the place apart as a little parting gift to you. The pointless cutscene that resolved nothing. Oh. <laughs> Don't blame me. I already told you. Only those worthy of the trip to the heavens may board. But you didn't need me to tell you that, my little bouncing friend. You know very well why you can't board this ark. Do I not speak the truth, little celestial envoy? I mean, we already knew all this. Well, about time. No! Ah! My little friend. I have another prophecy for you. Listen up, because this will no doubt come in handy for you. It takes two to tango. The bond of the brush shall intercede. <laughs> I thought I'd give you the long version, since it was my last. Pretty good, don't you think? Those unwilling to fulfill their own destiny cannot board the ferry to the celestial plane. Life is all about resolve. Outcome is secondary. It is resolve that determines the value of your life. You have no doubt met many such resolute people in your journeys. Well, my little bouncing friend, I must bid you adieu. Shall we, ma chérie? We have a date with destiny. We mustn't keep her waiting. And so the arc closes. And we're on board. It's true. This son is a celestial envoy. We already knew that. We get the achievement Sayonara for boarding the Ark. So, on the Ark, we have to fight enemies until we find ourselves a clay flyer. That specific enemy is one that we have not actually fought yet. Um, and because of that, um, we won't get the achievement for all enemies unless we defeat it before we defeat the final boss. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. We don't need the Yisun glove because it can't come with us. My goodness, I can hardly believe it. My eyes may have been enveloped in darkness all this time, but I know when I see a divine being before me. Okami Amaterasu, you have returned home. I, Marco, would like to welcome you, welcome you on behalf of all Celestials. Celestial being Marco. Oh, I made a mistake. I said that you'd return home, but of course I was wrong. This is the inside of the dreaded Ark, which fell from the heavens. It's nothing like our wonderful home, the Celestial Plane. Alas, only my spirit remains in this world. It's been in prison here for many years. Perhaps it was my destiny. Okami Amaterasu, I'd be so grateful if you could bestow upon us a small gift. Not only for me, but for the others who succumb to death. In exchange, I will give what I can. I'm sure that it would lift everyone's spirits. Sure. What will you offer? Oh, we can... Oh, right. Yeah, this is a, a merchant at the very end. So, you can exchange demon fangs if you want and get whatever you're missing. We're not really missing anything here. Uh, but, we do want to go to him as a merchant because he has the last gold dusts. We're going to buy both of those uh, 
Frankly, I don't care about anything else. We have nothing else to sell. And we're going to use them immediately because we have all the weapons. So the last one for that. And our last rosary. Bam. All of our weapons are now 100% powered up. That's not an achievement. It's just something I like to do. Okay. We're going to go ahead and make a save. On the Ark of Yamato. Um, we don't want to go up to the center pedestal yet. We want to go to these side areas because they will have enemies, I believe. Goodness, if I'm not mistaken, you're from our home plane, the Celestial Plane. It's you, Okami Amaterasu. Who would have thought we would meet again after all this time? All my waiting under the dark, cold ice has paid off. We Celestials may have lost our physical form, but our spirits live on and are with you for all eternity. Celestial being Hakuba. We were heartbroken after the battle on the Celestial Plane, when you fell to this world with that monster. We managed to escape before it happened, but little did we know the tragedy that was about to befall us. After we ran away from the battle, we boarded the Ark of Yamato, hoping to get away. But not long after we set sail, countless monsters appeared from the depths of the Ark. Having nowhere to run, all of us were devoured by the monsters. This Ark, which was built by the Lunar Civilization, turned out to be a cargo ship designed to transport thousands of monsters. Not long after setting sail, the Ark lost its rudder and plummeted down to this world. The Celestials on board, each and every one of us, were slain. I don't know why the Moon Tribe built such a thing, but when the Ark fell to this world and brought such tragedy, well, it was nothing short of a disaster. Okami Amaterasu, it seems that the Ark has begun to move again after all this time. But this place is a nest of dark beings. Please take care not to be sucked into the darkness. Okay. Uh, so over here... Oh, I don't necessarily want to... Move on ahead. This isn't the way on ahead, right? I mean, I can, I can always load a, uh, a save if I need to go back because I saved it. Alright, so this is Blight. If you want to refight Blight over here. Which is fairly easy. And again, it's the sword. Again, we can spam this and be a lot easier than most enemies, right? I don't think each area is... Do I, do I have to do it? can't remember. Or is it this just something I can repeat over and over? Nope, I have to do it, I believe. Oh, it makes another... Well, it makes a way to return. And that's complete. Right, okay. So what we're looking for are scrolls. Where are the scrolls? Because I do not remember. It is basically a boss rush, though. Okami Amaterasu! Seems that one of the dark beings has disappeared. If only all the evil power would leave our midst, then I'm sure the Ark would return to the Celestial Plane. Ah, I was ready for immortality. Now it seems the time has come for my spirit to take leave. It's brought joy to my heart to have met you before I depart. I hope that you will return to the Celestial Plane, Amaterasu, and that you will bring light to this world once more. Alright. That was a weird, like, twist of her body. Where? One of these areas, for sure, has scrolls in it. Or at least it should. Maybe it's after you defeat all of the bosses. I know for sure that you will get a chance to fight enemies on the Ark. And it's the only place where the missing enemy... Or the enemy that we're missing is. Oh, look, it's Orochi. Whoa. Whatever. 
yells, and then we spout the drink in his mouth, and he gets half drunk. And he yells, and he spit the drink in his mouth. I don't know. I, the boss rush at this point, because we're so powerful, is frankly just a little like, eh. Oh no. Actually hit me for once. Drink one. What? What hit me there? Drink two. So two drunk. I don't remember what this one is. It's just just avoid the poison. I did not avoid the poison well, did I? You know what? We'll get you drunk at the same time, why not? Oh come on. There's two heads drunk, they all fall, or three heads drunk rather, and we go up here, and we attack the bell. Hopefully we don't have to do two rounds, because that would be majorly annoying. Just one round? Does this defeat Orochi? Or does this just put him into round two? Okay, now I can fight his uh, heads normally and do damage. Right, that knocks out the head and then I can just slam on the head. Alright, one down. You missed! Sort of. I mean, I guess he technically hit me. Make him drunk. And he falls. And we defeat his head. Yeah, Orochi's kind of a boring boss. I'm not gonna lie. He's gonna try and bite us. And then he's going to yell. And then we make him drunk. And then we attack his head. Oh, I'm in a weird spot. I'm like behind his head. Hold on. Oh no, really? I like went through his head. Can I, camera, can I have control over my camera please? I cannot see a single goddamn thing. He falls. Let's attack him from the proper side this time. And not go through his neck. Alright, there's another head down. How many do we have to defeat? I don't remember. He misses. And then you... Put the sake in his mouth, and he's gonna drop, and then you attack. We got our godhood back, apparently. Alright, there's another head down. Do I have to do all of them? That'd be really annoying if that were the case. Hello? Hit him and he gets angry and he should roar. And then you make him drunk. His head falls. And you just attack it. Oh my god. This one's just boring. Wow. I didn't realize how boring the Orochi fight was. Oh my god, are you kidding me? 
That's annoying. I didn't kill him? That head's getting a little too close over here. Do I have to defeat them all? I think I finally have to defeat all the heads. I've been waiting for this moment. Slow down time so I can get some extra hits in. Come on. Oh no. Drink. You have drunk of the wine. Come on. Kill him before he gets up. There we go. And the last time. Oh no, you spew out things that I don't care about. All oh, right, they make like the evil. What the, what? That was weird. Do we do more damage in slow-mo mode? There we go. Defeated Orochi, finally. For good. That's the last time we have to fight that boss. Two times was more than enough. Three times was a little annoying. All right. That one's done. Yeah, there's no... Hmm. There's no scrolls yet. I'm not going to lie that it's worrying me a tiny bit, the fact that there aren't any scrolls anywhere. I gotta look up where the things appear. But it's okay if we do all the bosses first, because it's just gonna unlock the like middle thing that we go through. So this is what? Spider? Okay. And the next one's Nine Tails. Oh! Another person. Oh, it's you, Okami Amaterasu. I did wonder where the arc began to move. Lo and behold, it's the guardian of our home, the Celestial Plane. Celestial being Sato. Why did tragedy befall us? This Ark was built by the Lunar Civilization as a rescue boat. It had been enshrined in the celestial plane for many years. We believed it would be safe. In order to ensure our future existence, we fled to the Ark when the monster attacked us. How could we have known this Ark would become our, our coffin? I don't know. Maybe it was our destiny. Perhaps it was all decided from the start. That monster, Orochi, who attacked the celestial plane, had suddenly come flying across the Sea of Stars. And after destroying our people and our homeland, we went on to cause pain and suffering in this world. Perhaps, perhaps it was all preordained by the Moon Tribe. Yeah, why did the Moon Tribe do that? Do they hate you guys? Because that's pretty mean. Oh, mean Moon Tribe. Hello. Gotta get a look at your butt. Okay, maybe I just do this instead. And don't worry about having to actually maneuver myself. There you go, you have three vines on you. Now get up here. Oh, really? Is this actually going to take multiple rounds? Oh, that's just annoying. Yeah, I know I'm inside of there. Doesn't matter. I have Godhood. All right. Ooh. Nope, that's not gonna. 
connect to anything. Aha! Getting them, like, in view is the hard part. Oh, that worked? That worked! Can I slow down time and get more than more of them? What the hell? Please don't make me do a third. No, just die. There we go. I really didn't want to do another, like a third fight with it. That would have been so annoying. Third round, rather. I get damaged in that fight? Oh, I guess I got swallowed. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Okay, well, that's this area. And we'll sprint ahead. He'll probably talk to me. Okami, I'm a I sense the presence of someone here on the Ark. Could it be that man from the Moon Tribe? I can feel his pain somewhere deep down inside this Ark. Amaterasu, you must save him without a moment's delay. You must stop the seeds of tragedy from being sown. In order for the evil in this world to be exercised, the sun god Amaterasu must return to the celestial plane. I pray that you will watch over the world from the heavens, and that you will bestow peace upon us all. Okay, then. Alright, well, I guess we'll go to the next one, which this should be Nine Tails, and then... Oh, no. Oh, it's the bull first, and then Nine Tails. Well, I guess the bull will be easier than uh, it originally was. I hope. <laughs> oh, boss rushes. Uh, it seems almost like a chore after having done the trials. Yeah, 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 you're angry. Wait, what do I need to do against you again? I... Hmm. There's something special I gotta do against you. And I don't remember. Oh, okay. Well, apparently we just keep attacking him until his... Armor breaks. There we go. I for I forgot about this. I think I forgot the first time we fought him too. Break. Armor break, please. Stop moving so much. Gale. Stop time or slow time. Bunch of hits in. And they died. Yay! It, I mean, it almost seems like that one, you know, the guard from the armor always makes me think like, oh, I'm doing something wrong because I'm not hitting it. They need to, hmm. They should have designed some sort of thing that let you know you needed to break the armor just by attacking it over and over. It's the same reason why, for the first time I fought him, it was very, like, what do I do here? I think I've had that every single time I've ever fought that boss in my life. It's just like, what do I gotta do for this one again? <laughs> Cause it's like, come on. Okay. And then we go to Ninetales, the last one. Does this heal us? It does. 
Not that we need it, but... Yay, healing. I've been waiting for you, Okamiya Matsurasa. My fleeting spirit will disappear at any moment. I'm glad I was able to hold on long enough to meet you. Celestial being Azumi. Long, long ago, you and Orochi fell together to this world. When you waited for the Chosen One to put an end to Orochi's life, you waited patiently for countless moons, until finally the Chosen One, Nagi, was born. Together you set the monster of the moon to its fate. You didn't realize it, but that was just one ripple in the wave of darkness. It's exactly 100 years since the legend of Nagi. The monster was quietly recovering its strength for all those years, until it used Nagi's descendant, Susano, to complete its revival. And once again, it tried to destroy this world. When you defeated it, the next stage of its plan began. It cursed the land with its evil power. And the world was soon overrun with monsters from the Ark. Orochi's evil essence was more than enough to power them all. Its smoldering powers of darkness exploded through, throughout Nippon. And the world was thrown into a storm of chaos never seen before. After that, well, you saw with your own eyes. The evil powers that left those monsters you defeated have all gathered here in the Ark of Yamato. Exorcism of the roots of evil is a daunting task. You must keep your eyes open for what's in the center of it all. Alright. On to Ninetales! And hopefully we defeat it very quickly. Because we still also need to face the last boss, which has a whole... Alright. Oh. We can't hurt it? Uh, unless... Uh, stop it with your brushes! Hit that with lightning. Splits it apart. Wait. Oh my god, just attack. Alright. I don't know if I was attacking the right thing there. I don't know if I've done any damage to, uh... To Ninetales. I have not, in fact. Come on, do your thing. Okay. Where are you? You. No, stop moving around. Oh my god. Just draw a line from there to there, please, game. Missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm doing something wrong. No, no, I'm getting rid of its tails. Oh, now it's the normal nine tails fight? Yes, now it's the normal nine tails. I was doing it right, I just. I felt like I was doing it wrong. Can you just stop doing the frickin' jumps? Get dingus. Alright, it's over. Okay. The boss rush over. Yeah, 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 whatever. We're gonna get like five achievements, by the way, when we finish this game, because all of them pop at the very end. 